I just watched History in the Making on the Republican House floor in Montana. Before I show you the absolute badassery, you need to know that Montana has been silencing a transgender lawmaker. For the last five days, Zoe Zephyr has not been allowed to speak on any bill proposed. And today, Montana's House was voting on a bill that would allow schools to out LGBT students to their parents. And when Zoe asked to be recognized, this happened. Mr. Chair, 63 representatives voted aye, 34 voted no. Really, the speaker has been upheld. The House Speaker sent riot police in to start arresting the constituents up in the stands. They cut off the mic so that you couldn't hear anything, but they made a bad choice in playing epic music while Zoe stood with her arm raised supporting her constituents. And yes, you heard me right. Police in riot gear arresting constituents for supporting their elected representative. I know that this bill sucks. They also passed a drag ban and both bills did pass. But by damn, it is badass to see constituents show up and stand for democracy. The one person in the legislature that can speak to the personal effects of these bans and they silence them and refuse to let her vote. But Montana's constituents are not having it. Listen to this constituent as he is dragged away by a police officer mid-interview with a news station. After that, the cops continue to come in, arresting people who would not move or continuing to chant, let her speak. And at the end of the day, uh, the people of Montana will not be silent. That's what it takes to stand up to fascism. They stood in the gallery knowing that they were going to be arrested, and they stood there anyways, because they stand for democracy and against fascism. Republicans have ignited an entire generation against them. And Gen Z has stated loud and clear, they will not be silenced. So good job to everyone that came out and supported Representative Zoe Zephyr. You guys are bad ass and you give me hope for our future.